think yeah yeah acting you're not the first one by actor or when you must say yeah. tv in going yeah yeah uput yeah. wake is a l- he has one of the most iconic characters on south african television correct i want you to 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 introduce that character and maybe tell us if it had an influence on you being the actor that you are today so ndansa funde union uphuma kwetjala la mawele and upegeza was by far the most loved and popular character mm, mm. the most memorable character eh ku ichala la mawele and i probably as i was in standard 9 or 10 um this a hostel puma you know and it, and it was very very popular so putum he had studied psychology um um uh, and social work he had stu- yeah but that was obviously his passion and yeah. i mean he's so talented yeah. right excuse me till today people remember that character by iphone mm. and and th- i mean they created they made a closer epic you know yeah i was i was on youtube the other day i know you also big on youtube you love youtube i was on youtube the other day and there's this video that i recently saw of another comedian on some cosa tatum kulo when they were i think blue so much thing and we recommended videos came up a video ka, ka, ka putwako. and for the life of me i'm thinking this guy was such a brilliant actor and unfortunately i only remember him for that character where is he now did he have an influence and this yeah, career yeah. path for you yeah def- any time. <laughs> yeah look definitely he mm. definitely inspired me and Thomas mm. Zupudwako who then comes out to play this eccentric old man mm, mm. and the physicality Upudwaifaga mm. in that character the walk mm, mm. all the mannerisms mm. you know I was like wow <laughs> For me, the same league, Obugela or Jim Carrey, or um, you name them, you know, mm, mm, mm. the best in the world. I was like, wow. Uh, it definitely, yeah, it nudged me forward, but you can do this. Great. Okay, so you started with Uchacha. That was your serious acting role, right? And I think you went on for three, four seasons? Three seasons, yeah. Season one, two, and three. It was it was it was a big one. I mean, I think you executed that thing very well. There's a friend of mine that I used to work with, Emundu Sisa. Oh no, <laughs> She she goes on about Usisanda Lo Unguwe being is Kosana because of that character. How much does it take? Yeah. How much does it take from you to get into character and to embody that character and be that character? Sipelesi Tanda Singaban. How, how what is the process or i don't know like, like how much does it take from when usisanda mm. to get into character and and leave that character to such an extent that tina we hmm. fall in love with the character and end up knowing you not as usisanda but as yeah uh, okay and i think even people now like the trackers bomb time this uh um which we yeah, are those those have been very very popular i think to know the truth mm. i didn't know but i discovered that i'm a method actor okay what do you i didn't know because what does that mean method actor yeah okay so like even about like daniel day lewis i'm going daniel day lewis and that's as actors they will the be face. blood lincoln they will be blood. i see the guy yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, gangs of new york i see that guy mm. i mean he's almost he's won almost as many oscars as he's played lead characters right okay um oh, so the natural instinct come was just become the thing mm. become the person so for example it took some research for me mm. why i mean kakulu i was in boarding school then my status of course in in that way yeah so even in the african movies that i play of nen mamelu rs here okay mamelu mhlobo enene for a so i have to deep dive into a space okay almost this valele pa to become that thing okay that's yeah that's what it takes 
Evan, I was actually thinking go introduce her as a veteran. <laughs> it's been 20 years or coming to 20 years yeah. for TV. Yeah, correct. And you haven't even hit 40 yet. Yeah, yeah. But I mean, I know it's not a hunky-dory, always on a high sure, no, industry. Not at, all, not at all, bro. Tell us about Ubunzima, Bayole industry. And now maybe thinking back on Amazuka Tataku when you hit those lows over Fondini Funsile Fmanu Sebenz Spornet Fmanu Sebenz Gwipanki Patwena you decide to just Fujale stage in what the hell look there's been in the roughest moments Tinal mm. I've thought about that. Daganda Ambam I left and I found a sales job mm. and I worked for an insurer an insurance company thinks any investments. I didn't know this. Yeah, when was this? I did in the year 2009. Okay. No, 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 no. Probably nine weeks to keep down, 10, like 11, 12. Mm, mm. Okay. Yeah. So that was an, in, yeah, interesting. Very was this during Umchat? Yes. Towards the end, yeah. Towards the end of Uchat. Okay. Yeah, okay. right Uchata towards 2004. The okay. Mm. 2006 Uchat. Is it? Okay. Yeah. Um, and uh, towards the end, yeah. So, definitely, especially because after the kids came, mm. well, up and down was almost like unbearable in terms of Unga Biko Shoba Ima Liza Tina. And the big thing I've been trying to crack in my head is creating sustainability and building wealth. Because mm. 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 that's what that life was. Um, as glamorous and as popular as it is, I wonder if I just have a tweet and it's the truth. Because although you're famous. Talking about Uvatiswa, it reminds me of a tweet that I saw during the week from Usizwe Romo. A city, I, like the industry is struggling now because of the lockdown mm. and whatever is happening around the world. But at the end, sometimes in the industry, the, the, the lifestyle that you portray are not reflective of how true is that statement when it comes to you specifically? I think when I was younger, that, w- that was probably true mm-hmm. and you know sometimes you come into big money mm. figures are lump sum right you know yeah. but you don't know what's going to happen six seven months down the line you know uh, and then you might splash out yeah bo. and then mm. part of the thing was so like i became friends with those people those people had been on television as a kid Mm-hmm. So by the time he's in his twenties, he'd been doing this it's thing. Gym in. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So he, some, he kind of showed me some of the, you know, the um, the circles. Mm. you start becoming friends with soccer players. They are famous, mm-hmm. but they're earning five, six times more than you. But now you all are all celebrities. <laughs> <laughs> but let me mali ga ye rapping ga fa na mali ye rap and I'm sad. So the guys then being about squatter camp and about ammunition, mm-hmm. who you know, they they hadn't commercialized or monetized rap like Abu AKA have done it now, you know. Um, and even the younger entertainers who've co- who've monetized social media, you know, who who've monetized being famous. Mm. Okay, or things like that. Yeah. These days, <laughs> people can convert, you know. Um, yeah. So, with some people, uh, like Forbes would declare Will Smith and earned X million dollars. Generally, it will be the same. There'll be some actors who are working, earning this much. Some who are earning, and the same with soccer players, I guess. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Has has that in any way influenced you? I remember Claire Tibakaka covered this one, Ferguson's. You had an interview on, on Metro FM. 
Yeah. Has that influenced you to become involved? And I don't know about it's a union sort of organization or activism sort of organization or actors' rights as, as, as issues that you're, you're, you're raising right now? Yeah, so even before Lindo Yem Kavati, so there was the Generation 16 yeah, oh, Kumbul, yes. years ago. I think shortly after that, I joined the Actors' Guild. Okay. Then Kwato let me sit on the exco one vote I must sit on the board. Mm. Then I served on that board for two years. And um so I'd been producing on and off and I directing on and off. And then very recently the about a year ago, the independent producers invited me to be on the board. Mm-hmm. And um so I was now part of the independent producers. And I was interviewed in that capacity, yeah. So, so what are some of the issues that you guys are dealing with as actors? And I want to take it as far as saying as black actors. I'll tell you the reason why I'm bringing up this issue of black actors. I was at the Get airport. Water, yeah. Sure. Sorry. I was at the airport uh, the other day. A while back. Met up with this other actor. This one is like, but he was a bit tipsy. I remember there was an issue here, racism. Zinizia's daughter is racism in South Africa. I can't remember what the story was at yeah. that time. Okay. And I was asking, Kunta and industry. And this guy was like, Kya fana nezi ni industry, bra? Like, sick in the kill. And you can't say Jack because you have a family to feed, right? That was a while back, three, four years ago. Uh, two years back, I was working on a, f- uh, on a, a feature here, Lendo Land Expropriation, M7 Zin. I met up with uh, an actress now nah, who's been in the game for quite a while. Utu Yaguazi, I, I saw Masilo. yesterday. Beni etanonke kulendo yaku mfundi sikui. Udi, it's a messed up industry. Yes, slavery. What are the main issues and how do you think the industry needs to adjust and sort out these issues? Sort out. I think issues. people need to be active citizens. Mm. When a tinano yafana la lando goods. You can sit and complain about Trump, but if people don't vote, you can sit and complain about the leadership in the country. But if you don't vote, mm-hmm. so what do I mean by that? So if you're not part of an of a union as an actor, where you can have e e negotiator as a mass as a movement <laughs> that can then you can fight policy in that way. The one on a copyright amendment bill is a change is because certain bodies were able to present to parliament. So you become a member of a guild. Actor, whether you're an actor or you're a producer or you're a freelancer or you're a writer or you're doing Zikona, join them. Then you can f- be in a movement. Okay, cool. <laughs> now, I just need to find out who sent out this question. Someone sent out a question on Facebook. Oh, I think Ubingu Uzona. Uzona, we are Uba. I think it's similar to the question that I asked about the putting up a front. No, oh. wait. <laughs> <laughs> about I- industry being up and down. How do you cope? How do you make sure that Obanemali during those lows? And how do you make sure during the highs, Awuji was? It's exactly what you're saying. Yeah? During, the, during the highs, <laughs> you need to be smart. Oh, you don't. <laughs> Bowling, you know, mm. and uh, if you have ways, or rather think of ways to diversify your income, mm-hmm. if you need to, and you know, focus on the things that you're really, really good at and what you can monetize, you know. Okay. This is Samuel Windsor. Mm-hmm. There's boots. Look, I really like polo and I like looking, you know, like. Mm. Dab. Yeah, I want swag. Yeah, sunglasses. Yeah, what Paul? Now this is the Sasada I know. Not Loire in the sea. Where <laughs> in love, <laughs> head over heels, go Paul. The Sasada we're all worried about. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I know. I'm glad <laughs> that Paul Maglond. Talking about talking about that, <laughs> you had a widely publicized divorce. Uh, you were in a marriage with Upo Nimbuli Hena, and she also had some things to say on social media, which were not that nice about being married to a Kosa man or a family. 
how 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 was how was that 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 part of your life? Because I was your friend, but I couldn't really relate to you during that period. And as you were too in the sea, where yeah, a bit superficial, I just didn't get you. <laughs> I think you're not the only person that that part of my life. Um, it feels like I was in the sunken place. Because in that Dandi, you know. Yeah, you understand the sunken place I'm talking about, right? No. So it was as if explain it to me. The sunken place, yeah. Um, they only movie got Jordan Peele called uh, Get Out. I don't watch a lot of movies. I've heard of Get Out. Which was yeah. a great movie. My niece Asama has been begging me for ages to watch it. I don't watch. It's a lot incredible. Of and Jordan wrote the script. So I just wasn't myself. Completely, like I think. In my attempt to become born again, da, I I almost wanted to be inhabited by something else that's other than me that could be good. Thereby, <coughs> the real me was now in a sunken place. D- like you understand, in ding and ding. No, I don't. And the reason why I don't understand is because I come from a Christian background, and you're not supposed to be yourself when Christ takes over. So how can you say? It's a sunken place when it's supposed to be a place but of you uplift, being uplifted <laughs> and being in a, a more you, conscious you being because <laughs> of Ingugu Christo Ayenzileoko. So I don't understand. Uti we understand. <laughs> but actually, the truth is, Namandi understand him that way. That's why I'm not there anymore. To tell you the truth, like I don't, I don't. Yeah. So, so this is this is maybe about your spiritual journey. As a person, mm-hmm. I mean, as I'm saying, there was a time up of since we cool, right? But Ngoku, I don't believe you are there. What happened? I let I allowed myself to be free. I gave myself permission to be free, permission to enjoy, permission to live, permission to be great. <laughs> Literally, this could be controversial because, from a Christian perspective. Christ is supposed is supposed ufanele ukuba nguye ukunika zonke ezinye and wena ngoku ngohlo ukuthela ngayo it comes across as if you were actually in bondage I was I was so I don't want to say your personal journey yeah right? your personal m- journey. M- I was <laughs> and then like I said and then I was like through a certain journey of searching cuz also I was desperate I was in a really uh, I suffered in that lifestyle and I was desperate for something new. And then I started to make new decisions about what I believe. Yeah, I've been, I've been, okay, no, actually, that doesn't work for me anymore. I need to find something else. I need to find something else that I believe. And then I'll be like, oh, okay, I'll take this route. No, now, then new beliefs would form. New beliefs, new beliefs. Would you now say you don't believe in Christ? What are these new beliefs? Wh- um, you also need to be specific about your questions. <laughs> I think I'm specific enough. You said you'd you'd find a new belief, new belief, new belief. I think I'm and worthy now. The premise it was Christianity. Yeah, yeah, I know you've got other questions and Ufuna So I'll I'll answer it maybe in three strokes. Okay. <laughs> the first one, I've decided I came to a decision and a belief, and it's something I have to reiterate to myself every day that I'm worthy. That's number one. <laughs> so it's about a lot of things, whether I'm pursuing things in business or as a producer or that I want to write, or I want to direct, and I'd never done it before, or that I must enter a new market in a new continent and succeed. So that's one. Yeah? Mm-hmm. Um, which kind of overarches a lot of the beli- yeah, the, the other ones as well. Yeah. So before I thought, hey, if we take go for me, inshallah, if we take go for me. And... Therefore, I was always in a state of waiting. Now, I know I have to get up at 4.30 or 5 o'clock. I have to go to the gym. I have to put, I have to put in that work to see the results I want and eat in a certain way and book the lesson with the coach so I can rehearse and learn and prepare, mm. you know, and write the proposal and make the meeting and pitch it and, yeah. So I must take the action. Would you say then you've become more responsible for Bombako, not relying on 
God is in control. God will do. His will will, will prevail. Now it's all about what the work Usisanda puts in will give the result that Usisanda wants out of whatever he's doing. Absolutely 100% true. So if Sisanda puts in the work, if Sisanda believes the thing, you understand? <coughs> and then I will emanate that energy. Mm. Whether I'm walking into a room, whether I'm walking onto a set, <coughs> whether I yeah, or in a boardroom or to a, a launch or a press briefing, Sisanda will do it. Sisanda shows up in a certain way, Sisanda does certain things, says certain things or doesn't say certain things and mm. and yeah. So it's the things that I think or believe in, the actions I take. What's your take on us being both physical and spiritual being? And, okay, yeah, let me first, because where I'm going is Go what on. feeds your spirituality? <sighs> well, how do you nurture your spirituality? Well, that's I if you did, did I do. believe in spirituality. Yeah, absolutely do. So I nurture my spirituality by... The podcasts I listen to, the books I read, and the time I spend in meditation. Okay. Tell us about these three things. The podcasts, what type of podcasts, type of books. So as you know, I did a uh, neuro-linguistics programming, right? NLP. NLP, life coaching. We had a bit of a session where you said it impacted you, ne? Yeah. Great, great, great little <laughs> session. A <laughs> free session. <laughs> so... It's kind of how I picked myself up off the carpet when when, in my own mind my eye had fallen apart and my life had fallen apart because I'd been in a depressed state and I was very depressed and wow, all of that, self-loathing. Uh, so call it self-development if you want. Mm. It is a, And a lot of it is reprogramming my mind about what's true and what's possible. A lot of ladies are impressed with Umzimba Wako. I had a friend of you mine the other day go WhatsApp. I think I sent you the message. I said, you, tell us, I think you called on Facebook. Thank you. Or who also commented on your body. But Nins, man, yeah, digger foot as comments is up. You've spoken about the spiritual. Now tell us about the physical. How, how do you maintain this great physique? Uh, thanks, Dinano. Now, the ladies who asked me, I'm sending you love back. Mwah. And I look forward to taking, when the body is ready for the next drama and the next photo shoot, I hope you enjoy them. That will be dedicated to you. It How do I? Definitely not be on my show. Mother's <laughs> <laughs> born. It will be released very widely. <laughs> so, no, it's, it's the same thing. I think this is all over the internet so much. But, I mean, it gives me an opportunity to say to my partner, Abawa Evox, thank you so much. Part of the thing, actually, part of the thing is uh, feeding your body the right food. It, it, like, a good friend of mine says, even Usiv says, listen, it's 80% what you eat, mate, you know? So what you eat, even as a supplement, literally, that is 80%. I also think if you look after your mind and heart, or like when you're resting and you're in a good space, and then you have to train. It's just, it's just that simple. I'm, I mean, simple doesn't mean easy. Yeah, <laughs> because you've got to get up, make the time, be in the right place and train. Sure. And then 80 percent, like we said, is how you eat. Closing statement. Yeah. So here's a message for you who are hungry for your dreams. Uh, it doesn't matter where you grew up, what small town you come from, but you're not pooper and you want to achieve certain things. I say, first of all, keep your dreams close to your heart. Dream, dream big and dream again. And then get up and go hard. That's, that's my message. Dream and then take massive, massive actions.